I want to share a game changer for any organization drowning in paperwork, Google's Document AI. This powerful tool turns your physical or emailed documents, such as invoices, bank statements, and more, into manageable, actionable data. Anyone who knows me knows I've spent much of my career in this area. I've built numerous data and PDF integrations and even worked at a hugely successful e-billing startup where we took PDF and XML documents and built line parsers to extract the information programmatically. Those used to take us two or three days to code and for comparison's sake, I built the one I'm gonna demo today in about three hours. So Google's Document AI is a cutting edge machine learning solution designed to automate document processing. Converting physical documents into structured data helps businesses streamline operations, reduce manual errors and enhance decision-making processes. Even if you were to check them manually, imagine the time and resources you could save on data entry alone. Google's Document AI uses sophisticated models to accurately recognize text within any document. It doesn't just read the text, it understands the context, extracts the information and extracts the relevant data. So let's consider a few use cases. So first of all is invoice processing. So we automate the data extraction from invoices for faster and more accurate billing and accounting processes. This reduces the time spent on data entry and increases the efficiency of financial operations. A retail company might use Document AI to process supplier invoices, drastically reducing the cycle time from receipt to payment and improving vendor relationships. Secondly is contract management, so we can quickly extract vital terms and conditions from contracts. This capability can support compliance, monitoring, risk management and contract review processes. For example, a legal department or law firm might employ Document AI to extract specific clauses from legal documents, aiding in compliance checks and risk assessments without the manual labour typically involved. Another use case is customer onboarding, so we can speed up that data extraction from identity documents and forms during customer onboarding. This not only enhances the customer experience by reducing wait times, but also helps maintain accurate customer databases. So let's see Document AI in action. So in order to use this tool, we're gonna to need some data to play with. Uh, so we've head over to Kaggle.com. They've got a few data sets there, which are open source and we can use. One of which is this invoice data set, which is released under an MIT license. Um, and if we scroll down here, we can see what's in the data set. So essentially we've got a folder here with a load of PDFs, which are the invoices. So we can kind of click through those and have a look at them. And you can see their invoices. They've got the usual things you'd expect to find on an invoice, who's, who's being billed, what the payment is, how much the total is, and then line items with quantity, rate, and amount, tax, and that sort of thing. So what we can do is we can download that. And then we head over to Document AI. When you get here, this is the screen that greets you. And you can choose to launch your template from a pre-built library of templates. So if we do that, you get through to the screen where we can see various types of processes for a variety of documents, one of which is an invoice parser. Now we can create that processor. You give it a name, specify where you want it to be located. Now, the only thing to note here is we're also going to upload our invoices into a cloud storage bucket. So if we head over to cloud storage, we can create a new bucket. And here you'd be able to give it a name and also choose where you want to store your data. So the one thing to make sure is that the location you choose here, you want that to be the same as the location for your invoice parser. So we have data and processing in the same location. And then what we can do is once that's created, you'll see your processor spin up. It'll take a little while to spin up. And obviously we need to create the bucket as well. So make sure you kind of finish this off and uploaded all your invoices into that as well. So you can see I've created one already here called Best Invoice Parser Uploads. It's just a standard bucket with all the PDFs dropped in. And I also created a copy of all the PDFs for some extra data. Then what you can do is head over to your processors and you go into your processor. I've called mine my invoice parser. So in here, you've got a few details about the processor, such as the name and location. And we can also go in and train the parser. So here we have a selection of documents that are divided between all documents or in groups. So those which have been labeled also labeled or are unlabeled. So labeled means that we've gone in and actually tagged up the various areas of the invoice. So which part is the tax, which part is a line item. Also labeled means that we've had the parser do it for us. So the process has gone through and, and tagged up all those documents for us. And unlabeled means we haven't done any of either of those things. So I've been through and I've labeled a minimum 100 invoices that you need to go through and actually tag up. Um, which does take a little bit of time, but you can kind of sit there and churn through it. And like I say, the whole thing took me about three hours to make the first time. And then you go into them and you can see I've got some auto labeled here and I can go in and just check that they have been auto labeled correctly. So if I hop into this one, we can see, yes, everything has been labeled correctly. And so we've got things like the phone number, we've got the company name, uh, we've got the various line items. We've got line item description, line item quantity. These have all been tagged up. If anything was missing, you could very quickly just go in and if I delete this one, for instance, 
you can go in and just drag a box around it and then say what it is. And it's okay to have duplicates. And the, yeah, that will give the uh, processor the information it needs to then tag up PDFs in future. So once you've done that, we can say, yes, this is labeled. I'll be added to our labeled group and we can go back to our invoice parsers. Now here we can see that I've now got 112 documents labeled. So when we've got enough documents labeled, we can then go in and we can uptrain a new version. So this is building upon the knowledge that the invoice parser already has by including our documents and the labels that we've applied. So we can create a new version that makes it more accurate for the documents that we're uploading. So you can see I've already created one called Invoice V3, but if you wanted to create a new one, you just click into there, give it a name, start training, and it would do its thing. And if there's any problems with not having enough data, it'll tell you about that as you do it. Then once you've trained them all, you can then click auto label documents. That will then label any unlabeled documents that you have in your data set. So they'll all be tagged up and then you can export your data set. So if you need it, you can yeah choose where you want to export it to and then you'll get your data. And I'll come back to that in a moment. Now, next up is evaluate and test. So we can go through and we can see essentially the testing that's been done on a particular model. And then what we can do is we can upload a test document. So if we click on that and I've got the invoices all copied in here and you can pick any one of these you want. So we'll pick one of those, say open, and it'll analyze the document. Take a moment to do so. And we can see that it's tagged up the majority of the document correctly. Okay, there may still be a few fine bits of fine tuning to do, but the more we improve the model by tagging up the remaining items, the easier it will recognize these things in future. And then we hop out of that and we can go to manage versions. Here is where you can have different versions of your processor. So we can choose to deploy a different version as we upgrade to a new one and we've tested it and it, it gets a better score. And we can improve the processor over time and deploy new versions as they get better and better. And when you're happy, you can choose to set a certain item as the default. If we hop back over to the training tab, one of the other things you'll see is that we've split the documents between training and test. So this is the way that we enable the processor to train itself. So we use that as our training data. So that's improving its ability to tag up documents. But then we also want a way to validate it. And that's by we tag up another 50 documents. And then we use those to check how well the processor performs. So once that's done, what we can do is we can export our data set. So once we've tagged up all our documents, we click over here on export data set. We specify a Google Cloud storage bucket that we want to use. And here's one I made earlier. And I've dropped in all of the, the documents. So we can see in here all of the documents that have been tagged up. And if we hop into those, you will get one of these output JSONs. So download that. If I just click pretty print, because I've got a nice extension for that. What you will see here is you've got all of the data that's been extracted from that document. So it's got the text that was extracted in a nice format. You've got the location that it was found and it will specify different data types as well. So we've got the address and it tells you kind of the type of supplier address. And we were, so we've got in here, so we've got the, the date. So this is the invoice date. And then from here, we can integrate it into our applications and or into our workflow to make our lives easier. So to successfully integrate Google's Document AI effectively into your business, there's a few steps you'll want to consider. First of all, you want to start with business processes that handle a high volume of documents or where data extraction is critical and prone to errors. While Document AI is robust, ensuring your documents are well organized and of decent quality will enhance accuracy. Although Document AI works out of the box for many standard document types, Customizing its models to better understand your specific document types can significantly boost performance. You want to seamlessly integrate Document AI's outputs into your existing business applications and workflows to maximize the utility of the extracted data. By turning unstructured document data into structured formats, businesses can gain insights, drive strategic decisions, and maintain more accurate records. So yeah, if you're excited about cutting through the clutter of physical documents and transforming them to actionable data, consider exploring Google's Document AI.